and welcome back to our channel. I am Cynthia Ortiz and today we will be focusing on ways to make 10. So before we get into the lesson, let's remember a few words. Plus. Plus is the addition sign that we use, okay? Here is a plus sign. Equals. Equals means same as. And here is the equal sign that we use, okay? So if you were with us in our last video when we found the sum of 9, you know that we used dots as our visuals. Now, I'm going to use these again, only now I'm going to go ahead and put them in my 10 frame. I love my 10 frame. Why? Because it allows me to organize my work more neatly so I can see it clearly, all right? So if I were to fill all these squares up in my 10 frame, I would automatically have 10. There are 10 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the top row, and 5 in the bottom row. All together, I have 10, okay? So let's go ahead and start. If I have 0 blue dots, how many red dots do I need to get my sum of 10? Let's go ahead and count up. So 0 blue plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 0 plus how many red to get to 10? I don't have to count. I already know that I filled the whole chart up, so there are 10 red. 0 plus 10 equals 10. 0 plus 10 equals 10. Awesome. Okay, so now 1. So I'm going to start with one blue dot and fill the rest of the squares in my 10 frame with red. Okay? So I'm just filling it all up. I know that when I run out of squares, I've hit 10 already. Okay? So I have 10 dots total. One of those is blue. How many are red? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1 plus 9 equals 10. So 1 plus 9 equals 10. Awesome. Now I have 2 plus what equals 10. So I've already placed two blue dots in my 10 frame. Now how many red do I need? Let's go ahead and place our red. Remember that I said that the top has 5 and the bottom has 5, right? So really, I can count up my red like this. 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 red. So that means that 2 plus 8 equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Now I have 3 blues. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of the 10 frame with red and see how many red it took to get from 3 blue dots to 10 total dots. So 5, 6, 7. 3 blue dots plus 7 red dots equals 10. Okay? 3 plus 7 equals 10. 4 blue dots. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of our 10 frame with red and see how many red I needed to get to 10. So I have 5 at the bottom plus 1 more. 5, 6. That means that 4 blue plus 6 red equals 10. So that means 4 plus 6 equals 10. 5. I have 5 blue dots. How many red do I need to get to 10? I don't even have to count this, right? I already know that the top row has 5 and the bottom row has 5. So 5 blue plus 5 red equals 10. That means 5 plus 5 equals 10. 
Hey, did you catch something? Because I know I did. I have the same number on both sides. Hmm, what does that mean? That means that I am done. I don't have to keep going any further because I already found all the ways to make the sum of 10. I could keep going, but all I would find is what I already have up here, only flipped, all right? If I kept going, I would have six plus four. I already have four plus six. It's the same thing, only flipped. Now time for some fun. I have seven plus three equals hmm. So I will start with seven blue dots, add three red dots, and then see how many I have in all. So seven blue dots. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I will add three red dots. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, I just filled up my whole tense frame. I don't have to count. I already know that because I filled this all up, seven plus three equals 10. Very good. Okay, if you're not sure, you can count, but you will get 10. Watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. Four plus six. I will start with four blue dots, add six red dots, and see how many I have total. One, two, three, four, plus six red, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I filled up my tens frame. So that means that four plus six equals 10. Nice work. Two plus eight. I will start with two blue dots, add eight red dots, and count them in all. So two blue, one, two. Now eight red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, I filled up my 10 frame. That means that two plus eight equals 10. Very good job. Okay, so we are on our last problem for the lesson. This problem says, Tim saw seven cats. Luke saw three cats. How many cats did they see in all? So I will go ahead and circle what I already know, right? I know that Tim saw how many cats? Seven. Very good. Seven cats. Luke saw how many cats? Three. Very good. Three cats. Now I want to know how many cats did they see in all? And we know that in all means to add. Awesome. So now I'm going to take my two parts and place them down below in my addition number sentence. I have seven and three. So seven and three. And I know that I have to add them up, right? So now I have seven plus three equals, hmm. So I will start by placing seven blue dots in my 10 frame and then add three more. I will count them all up after to see how many I have in all. So seven blue dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three more, one, two, three. Again, I filled up my time frame. I don't have to count these because I filled it up and I know that there are 10. Very good. Seven plus three equals 10. Nice work. Okay, so that ends today's lesson on ways to make 10. I really hope you enjoyed this video and working with a 10 frame. Now, if you don't have a magnetic 10 frame like I do, you can go ahead and draw one at home. 
So to do so, all you have to do is make a rectangle, draw a line that goes horizontally across the middle, and we will separate it by four lines. One, two, three, four. Let's just count them to make sure I have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can fill these in with fun treats like pretzels, goldfish, you name it, all right? So I just hope you enjoyed this video and have lots of fun working on your math. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye guys!